I just got back from the orchid festival and I've got my orchids with me. I packed them up in a tote and um, before I even unpacking anything, I'm just gonna take everything out and I thought I'd make a quick video to show you what I've got. Um, I gotta get everything hydrated, so I thought, let me show you how I packed everything, brought it on the plane, and so on and so forth. So let me show you what I've got right now, get everything hydrated, and then I could get on with unpacking everything. So I took this tote with me to the show to make sure that I was able to carry any new additions. I wasn't planning on getting anything too big, um, but what I did was I used some napkins from the hotel that I got at the kitchen and some brown paper bags to separate everything and give everything a little bit of cushion. I brought everything on the plane as um, I basically treated it as a personal item and put it under the seat in front of me. You can travel within the United States with orchids, even with potting media, as long as you stay in the U.S. Now, let me show you the first orchid that I got. This one is the Brassavola Jiminy Cricket Superbug. And I got this orchid from Tsinghua Orchids. It was $15. It was bare root and um, it looked like a nice size. Now the roots look like they need a little help, but for $15, I didn't mind too much. I'll take some time to rehabilitate this guy. Up next, I got an encyclia. I was looking all over for encyclias and there were a lot of bare root ones that didn't look too good. And I found a vendor that had it potted up. It looked in good shape. And this one is the Encyclia Steinbachii. This is a species orchid very similar to the Encyclia tempensis. I was told it won't get as huge as the Encyclia cordigera, but it should maintain a relatively smaller size, we shall see. The vendor that I got this orchid from is called the Orchid Fix. That vendor had quite a lot of uh, really nice, healthy looking orchids. And I look forward to uh, seeing how this does for me. And this is actually my very first Encyclia orchid. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, moving on to the next one. As you can see, I used napkin for it and I literally just brought a tote bag and some tape. So it wasn't too big of a deal. But the next orchid that I've got is a wish list orchid. And this one is the Cattleya eclandiae. This is the Cerulea version and it has uh, two different um, cerulea strains on it. I got it from Gemini Orchids. They had a really, really nice selection of cattleyas and uh, hybrids and some species, and this one looked good. This was $35, and the Encyclia, I forgot to mention, was 20. So this one was $35. There were quite a few Eclandiers around. Um, there were different types, different price points, but I liked this one and I wanted a Cerulea version. So looking forward to growing that one. Alrighty, moving on, I got the Phalaenopsis Amboinensis Nicole. And this was a gift from my mom. This was $20. We got this from Tsinghua Orchids. And my mom picked it up for me because it has my name on it. So it's a really nice um, Amboinensis species orchid. I believe the Nicole version has more white to it than yellow. Curious to see how it compares with the Phalaenopsis Amboinensis that I currently have but this was gifted to me. It's very healthy looking and um, yeah, it's a nice one. I like, I really like foul species. Now within the tote bag, I also had this little um, gift bag as well where I put some of my other fowls and it was to add a little bit more structure in the bag and prevent any damage. I'll say I had minimal damage. There was maybe one that had an issue. But anyway, this one I have is Phalaenopsis LD Bears Queen, Wilson. So there was a vendor at the show called Wilson Orchids. They had a lot of really nice Phalaenopsis orchids, including some species as well. And I got this LD Bears Queen because I have the LD Bears King and I really like it. And I wanted King and Queen to be together. Now this one has a flower spike going. Looks really healthy. I believe that one was $20, so wanted to pick it up. The next one is the Phalaenopsis Bellina Cerulea. So this one was $25. This was also from Wilson Orchids. I wasn't planning on getting this, but for the size and the price, I didn't think I could really go wrong here because these are really nicely fragrant. I don't have the Cerulea version and I do like the Bellinas and the Violaceas. So I picked it up. I did want more, but I, I held back. <laughs> I almost bought like five or six fowls, but those were the uh, only fowls that I brought back. Alrighty, 
Moving on to the next orchid that I got, it was another Encyclia orchid. So I believe I got this from RF Orchids. I don't remember the name of the vendor, but they had some really, really healthy looking Cattleyas. This one is called Encyclia Cindy. This, this is a primary hybrid of the Encyclia Tampensis and the Encyclia Alata. It's supposed to be very fragrant. It looked very healthy and it was 15 bucks. Um, so I wanted to pick it up. I was told that the new bulb should bloom probably in the next year. Um, and I was told that this can get a bit larger. So we shall see. I have a feeling they're all going to be uh, much bigger than they are right now. So this next orchid comes from a nursery called Blantillo La Orquidia. They're based in Sarasota, Florida, and they sell primarily Venezuelan orchids. And they started out in Venezuela. They had a really nice selection and the person who helped me was extremely helpful. Now, they had a bunch of different crosses at a really good price and this one is the BLC Haiku Dawn. And this is a Richard Mueller hybrid. This was 10 bucks. They had a bunch of different crosses for $10 about this size and they had larger ones for 20 and $25. I wanted to keep things on the smaller side. So I don't mind growing it, but it had a new growth and a pretty nice um, mature growth already. So we'll see how this looks. I've really been liking Richard Mueller hybrids. I really enjoy how they look. Richard Mueller and Eclandier hybrids, I really, really like. So I think my collection is going to take a turn into that kind of uh, style of orchid. So you'll see more, including this one. So this one came from the same vendor. This one is called the Catlia Bernie Blank, and this one is a cross between the Eclandier Chocolate Drop cross with the Catlia Eclandier. Once again, this one's pretty small. They had um, some larger ones available for $20, $25, but I wanted to just not have to worry about bringing larger orchids back. In hindsight, paying a little bit more would have been better, but I didn't want to have to deal with a lot through TSA, so I just got smaller ones. And I'm patient. I've got orchids of all kinds of sizes, so I don't mind waiting. Alrighty, um, moving on to the next orchid, I actually got another Eclandier hybrid. And this orchid came from Gemini Orchids again. And um, one of the leaves got slightly damaged, it bent a little bit, um, but nothing too bad. The new growth that's coming in is just fine. This one has plenty of canes, and this one's the Cattleya facellus. This is the a cross between the Cattleya bicolor, cross with Cattleya eclandiae as well. This one I really like because it has a very spotted lip, rather spotted petals, and it's really cheery. And um, once again, it's this is probably my fifth or sixth eclandiae hybrid into the collection. So moving on, I did get one larger, um, more mature Cattleya orchid, and I got a smaller one as well that I got actually on sale. Um, so I was excited to see this one. So on the very last day, Peru Flora was having a sale of 50% off everything. Their stock was down, and then I found this Cattleya luteola. They actually sold it to me for $10, which was nice. I didn't get to see the roots. I didn't expect much by way of roots, but it has plenty of canes, and this is a nice compact Cattleya species orchid that um, I'm looking forward to growing. Now, the next orchid that I got was the largest orchid, and I wanted to get the Volcano Trick Orchid, but I actually got a parent of Volcano Trick. So this one is the Lelio Catlia Trick or Treat Mas Naranja. I got this from Plantio La Orquidia as well. It's nice and rooted into this mix, and um, it looks really good. They, um, it came with a new growth, and it has a growth with a sheath on it. So... Maybe we'll see that new growth open up or we should be seeing new growths coming in soon. But this one's well rooted and looks very healthy. So I can't wait to see it. The flowers are nice and orange and I don't believe I have any orange flowers in the collection just yet. So that's pretty much it. I was very happy with what I bought and the prices I thought were good. I also didn't have any issues with TSA. 
The best part of the festival was meeting some of you guys. Um, so I want to shout out Sherry and I want to shout out Nick. It was so nice to meet you guys and finally uh, talk to you guys in person. I look forward to uh, getting to more Orchid festivals in the future. I hope you guys like the haul and the video from the Orchid Festival. I'm going to go ahead and get my orchids watered up and then I will take care of um, unpacking everything. Um, overall, I found it to be a very enjoyable trip. There were a lot of orchids that I found that I've been looking for for a long time. So it was nice to finally get my hands on them. Prices were excellent and it wasn't too much of a hassle to get everything through TSA. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Orchid content. We can also keep in touch on Instagram as well. Bye guys.